okay we're going to talk about the original anatomy of upper limb and the topic of today is the axilla axilla is number one transition area of the upper limb so here we go the outlines and let's begin axilla is the gateway to the upper limb providing an area of transition between the neck and the arm as you can see here this green color is representing the axilla it is an irregular shape pyramidal space with the inlet four sided wall and the floor or base we can see here the superior view in which the green space is representing the axilla and this is the actually superiorly we can say an inlet of axilla anteriorly we got here the clavicle posteriorly we go the scapula and the medially we are having here the first rib another view of the axilla in which anterior wall medial wall posterior wall and the lateral wall is representing have we got another view of axilla and in which it is showing that axillary sheet in which all the axillary content will be embedded axillary inlet axillary inlet is the actually apex which is open of this pyramidal space until we go the clavicle posteriorly the scapula and medially we got here the first rib let's talk about the four walls and the first of all we got here the anterior wall so anterior wall of the axilla we got here in the red color the anterior wall we are having the pectoralis major muscle we are having the pectoralis minor muscle we are having a very small muscle under the clavicle we call that subclavius muscle so we got here the pectoralis major muscle making the anterior wall when we cut a pectoralis major muscle under that we can find the subclavius and pectoralis minor muscle so let's see that here after cutting the pectoralis major muscle we can see here the pectoralis minor muscle and a very small muscle here subclavius into the clavicle so these two muscles are embedded in the fascia we call that clavio-pectoral fascia from the lateral view we can see here the pectoralis major muscle, pectoralis minor muscle, subclavius muscle and this green boundary here around the muscle is representing here the clavio pectoral fascia and that is a suspensive ligament. The posterior wall of axilla here is representing in this diagram as the yellow color and uh, there are four muscles we can see in another view the four muscles are like this subscapularis here teres major latis dorsi, and the long head of the tricep they are making the posterior wall of the axilla here we got the subscapularis teres major latis dorsi. long head of tricep is not mentioned in this diagram let's talk about the medial wall so medial wall if we look on this diagram is representing as the green color in which one muscle is involved we call that serratus anterior muscle some writer also consider the intercostal spaces and the muscles in it very good serratus anterior muscle so upper part of the serratus anterior making the middle wall let's talk about the little wall little wall in this diagram is representing as the blue color is representing the intertubercle sucus on the proximal part of the humerus here we got intertubercle sucus between the two tubercle talking about the content of the axilla is very important we got here the axillary artery axillary vein and the brachial plexus axillary lymph nodes they are all embedded in the axillary sheet and here we got the loss we got here the axillary process from the 
express except that some writer also consider the proximal part of the bicep and the crocobagellus muscle as a content of axilla here we go the summary of the axilla in which we can see here the inlet and the downside here we go the floor and we go the anterior and the posterior wall we go the medial and the lateral wall with its content thank you very much